Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate High Rank Quest shenanigans. Uh, I'm recording this on the day that the Purple Ludroth fight is being posted and it's not posted yet so I haven't had any feedback on what to tackle. However, I have had some off-camera advice and it makes sense to me as well that we go for, where is it, hang on a minute, where is it, Double Jeopardy I think? No, uh, Field Trip, Field Trip, yeah, because that's a Great Jaggy. I want access to the high rank version of the Great Jaggy armor, it's not good looking but it will have better defense than the stuff I'm currently wearing and I want more defense as I've been going over for the last couple. Now it worries me that there's a danger symbol. That means there's going to be some other big monster that's going to get in my face. Possibly another Ludroth because it's in the mountain peaks or it could be a pink Rathian that I briefly saw in one of the gathering quests. I've eaten food that's given me defense up medium so I'm not worried about that. And I think I have, let me just double check here that I actually have dung bombs on me. I do, so if I hit another monster with them, it has a chance, I think it's a pretty high chance, of it running away. Also, if I found, if I sound a bit congested, it's because I am. So, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, it's dumped us, and there's a big monster here. Oh, I, found, I spawned next to the thing I'm looking for. Isn't that fun when that happens? Now, I don't have a map, but paintballs still work, right? Yeah, paintballs still work. So, that's a good thing. Now, what, do, what can I expect from a great jaggy? The thing that makes Great Jaggies hard on G-Rank, I think, from what I've heard, is because they constantly body slam, and I think it's going to be similar here, and the reason... Oh, I need to make sure my stamina goes up. Uh, the reason that's a pain in the ass, I think, anyway, and I might be wrong here, but it's because the Jaggy's one of the first things you kill, right? So it doesn't have a very large array of attacks, and its main attack is basically it either nibbles at you like it was just doing there, or it body slams. That's pretty much the only two things it does, and a tail swipe. That's its main three attacks. So I can imagine if it's raging and going really fast, it can get into these habits where it's body slamming over and over, and on G rank if they're even faster, I can see why that would be such a pain in the arse, and I think it's going to be a pain here as well, uh, even maybe more so than other monsters who have far more predictable attack patterns. Now because I am using an okay armor set, and because I'm using defense up food, medium as well, not just small defense up. Oh, here comes a body slam. Yeah, I imagine that body slam would normally be doing at least double that had I not buffed my defense in the manner which I have. Oh, also, I have been farming advanced armor spheres, so although I'm still using the Rathalos armor, I have been able to upgrade it to high rank status. So I think per piece is now like 43 defense as opposed to 36-ish. Uh, so, the, so the bottom line is my defense is, is better than when I was fighting the purple Ludroth. Is it amazingly better? No, but it is significantly better thanks to the food as well. And I can definitely already tell that this guy is not hurting me as much as Ludroth was. Now granted, you normally fight a Jaggy before you fight a Ludroth, but <clears throat> whatever. It is a shame... Oh, could you stop going after me so I can actually swing at you please? It is a shame that the high rank armors are all aesthetically the same as... <laughs> We're just going around in circles. I just want to see how long I can keep this up. Are you just, is this, this is like that... Um, Call of Duty Ghosts, no not Ghosts, whatever one it was with the Zombies video I did. <clears throat> we were just manipulating the AI so a zombie was chasing us in circles and never doing anything. It's in my channel trailer, if you've never seen it, to save you watching a video of Call of Duty, because why would you want to do that? Is that you calling for backup? Hopefully just backup in the form of small jeggies and nothing else massive. So I was warned that you can you can get dumped in the exact area that the monster is in. By the way, I think the Jaggy is weak to fire, that's why I'm using the setup I currently am. I haven't upgraded any weapons yet, I'm still missing components unfortunately. I am really curious about what the other big monster on the stage is though. I'm, I may run into it because I assume that the Jaggy is going to run at some point. Hopefully soon. If this is a reasonably quick fight, I don't think I want to try and put two hunts in the same video, but my next target, I think, now obviously I, this might totally change if I don't film another video straight after this one and wait for the Ludroth video to post tonight, I think I might go after the Poison Jaggy, because I actually like the Poison Jaggy armour, that's the cowboy type stuff I was wearing when I first started the series, and a better version of that with better defence, and it has 100% poison immunity, that really appeals to me. The purple version of the Ludroth armor does not appeal to me at all because the Ludroth armor in general is horrible looking and the purple Ludroth stuff is pink and I don't care what you say, it is bloody pink. Oh, there goes my weapon degrading. Oh, he's limping already! This is not going to take long. Come here. Oh, I missed. 
Now, not having a map is a bit of a pain in the ass, but if he's only going to run into this area, make sure there's no other big monsters, or, yeah, you know, spawn in front of the monster, that's fine too. Where's my wheat stones? Here's my wheat stones. Uh, one and done. There we go. It's a good job you can't swipe with your tail for anything. Step away from the zone, please. Thank you. I'm also glad that this doesn't seem to be taking as much of a beating as the drop because if I'm going to be farming these things for a suit of armor that technically I don't think I'm going to be in for a while, especially if I go for the poison jaggy right after this. What are they called again? I can't remember. I think it was just baggies, right? Oh, he's already moving again. He'll be going to his nest this time. Get back here. I don't want to have to... Well, actually, I kind of do want to run into the other big monster because I'm curious what it is. But as I was saying, I I'm glad it's fairly easy to kill with my current armor because uh, if I'm going to have to farm these it means it'll go a hell of a lot quicker. He's going to bounce up there or something right and then I'm going to have to work it. Oh he's all the way down there now. Uh, how do I get there? How do I get there? That path there I think. That's the other disadvantage. Actually if I double back via this way I can pick up the map. It may, it may be unnecessary but do I need the map? I think he's right through here on the right. So I don't think I need the map. Let's see, shall we? Yeah, I'm right. I've got him. Please don't have another big monster here. Okay, is he sleeping? He is! Okay, so in the Mountain Peaks, this is the Jackie's Nest. That's good to know. So if I wanted to catch him... I was tempted to bring capture stuff with me as well, because I knew I wanted the armor. But, never mind. Actually, I don't know for sure I want the armor yet. I want to see its defense, first of all. Keeping in mind, when you see it in the crafting window, it's not being leveled up at all. But still a good indicator. Oh, yeah, there we go. How long was that? That was a seven minute hunt. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I was putting that off. I can't believe that was so easy and, that, and yet the Ludroth was so bloody challenging. Nevertheless, so we got a Great Jaggy Claw Plus. We got another one. Okay. And then final option, please. Hide Plus. So good. High quality, high rank gear, bits, body bits, whatever. Can you kindly stop staying just out of range of my slices, please? Thank you. Right, and if there's time remaining, we'll just quickly farm a couple of these guys. Even fine bone, fine, and quickly, quickly, quick, 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 quick. Yeah. Wasn't worth it, but that's okay. We've got tons of those, I think. Right. Did I mention how much I like how this area looks, by the way? I've been spending a lot of time here farming the the supply quests or whatever they're called. You know, the ones where you just get to run around the area randomly. Yeah, it's a nice looking area. Alright, and what did we get? And we never got to see what the impending threat was. Sent item box. So we got another hide, hide. Uh, we got more advanced spheres, which is excellent because I wanted more. It was two of them, in fact. A screamer, a great jaggy head, claw, hand. Hand? I don't think I've had its hand before. And for wounding it, I got a King's Thrill, which is good. Although you could get them off the lower rank quest. Just uh, maybe have a lower chance. And that was a new record in terms of size. Didn't look that much bigger to me. Apparently there is really massive versions of each monster, and they have like crowns next to their, their weights and stuff. Someone hinted at that. I've never run into anything like that yet. And it just occurred to me, what I may do now, once I have a look at the armor, and decide that I do still want it, uh, I might as well just hold on to all the stuff in my inventory. I might just go do another one. Just do two Jaggies in one video. Two Jaggies, one video. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to go with that naming for this episode, but we'll see. So, so, not show. There is the Jaggy armor. Its base defense is 36, and that's okay. Actually, that's pretty damn good, because that's what my upgraded Rathalos armor was. It isn't the best looking armor, as I've said, but I may have to deal with it. What stats does it give you again? It raises your attack, which is good. Same as what I'm wearing, really. It raises your fire attack, which would be good for the sword I'm using. Sharpener, it has the same... Oh, wait, no. Am I reading my own set, aren't I? I am a, I am a moron. I think I was reading the wrong set. Yeah, I was reading what I'm wearing. God damn it. It's early in the morning. It's honestly, it is it. I just got back from walking the dog in the first thing in the morning, and then I'm recording this. So, let's, let's do a take two of that, shall we? The Jaggy Armor increases your chance to stun or just gives you an innate chance to stun or maybe makes you immune to being stunned in which case that's amazing it does raise your attack so it is similar to the Rathalos set in that regard lasting power I don't know what that is but decorations can be used to mitigate that and it has gluttony which is something I already have from my necklace so I could technically get technically get up to gluttony plus 20 if that gives you an additional bonus does does that give you an additional bonus let me just have a little looky here 
Status. Oh wait, no, it's Gormond I have. I'm getting confused with the gluttony skill on the Nibble Snarf set. And of course my dog barked, because every time I record, the dog must bark. Uh, I just used a very basic food there to increase my defense. I didn't really care about the additional stats because it didn't matter, so I'm just going to do the same again. And yeah, I'm going to hunt another Great Jaggy on camera. Oh, should I try and capture this one? Yeah, let's try and capture this one. I'll very quickly grab some capturing dealies from my storage, and we will certainly try and do that this time. Of course, there's no guarantee. I mean, I was really lucky there that I got plopped down right next to the damn thing. Uh, what am I looking for? I am looking for... Uh, tranquilizers. It's them. So, tranquilizer... Wait, no, it's not tranquilizers that I want. It's tranquilizer bombs. Which is those. Almost made a mistake there. I'll take the full five, although I should not require it. And we'll take the shock trap. And there we go. Okay, now we're ready to capture a high rank baggy, jaggy. I get my words confused. And we'll just do a replay of the same quest. Right, so high rank, and it was... It was what was, 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 field trip. Yep. Maybe this time we'll see what the other threat was as well. I've still got my, my dung bombs with me to get rid of it. I'm carrying around pockets full of poo. Probably bullfango poo, although you can make them before running into those, but who cares. Let's see where I end up this time. Uh, in the cave that the Ludroth was in, right, I can find my way back to the uh, the starting camp fairly easily, I think. Not from this direction, from this direction. Um, will I use food? No, I'll wait until my, my, my cap goes down by one and then I'll use food. Right. Although it just occurred to me I can actually run past where the the Great Jaggy was. So I might as well do that first, because if he's in the same place, I'll just start the fight. I know the, the areas he will travel to now, assuming he follows the same path each time. He may move around, but let's see if he's here. Uh, hmm, he is not here. Or is he hidden in the bush there? I can't tell. No, no, he is not here. So I think he might be through here, and I need to go this way anyway if I'm going back for the map. So let's have a little look. He's here. Right, well, that's easy enough. I'll just fight him here, then. Oi! I d d don't run... Oh, I suck at throwing. There we are. Yeah, let's just get started, shall we? Body slam? Oh, no, just a nibble. If it is a pink Rathian in this, the other threat on this stage, it's possible that because I've not fought one officially yet that it won't appear, although it just occurred to me one still showed up on a quest where I was just collecting oils off camera. So that would make no sense. But there's a bit of the stage that looks like an uh, impressive monster arena. There's like a destroyed temple where you can farm up king scarabs, etc. That would be my bet of where another monster on the stage would be. And given where this baggy, great baggy, jaggy, damn it, seems to hang around, I don't think you'd ever go out of your way to be there unless you started there when you get dropped in randomly. Yeah, yeah, we're going to kill your children, get them out of my face. And I think I just took out his frill. Nope. Stunned him, though. Oh, body slam. Yeah, he must be weak to fire, because he's getting stunned way too often by my attacks. I mean, compared to the Ludroth, who was basically just taking them all and not caring. Which is partly what made the thing so annoying to fight. Whereas this is really no more challenging than a standard Great Jaggy in low rank. And uh, It might take a tiny bit longer, but... I'm not finding it any more threatening, which is good. It is a shame that I'm going to have to leave behind my Rathalos armor. The low rank version anyway. I assume there will be a high rank version of every set with better stats. Maybe better passives as well. I'm not sure if the passives ever change. I don't remember the low rank great jaggy set having like massive attack plus etc. So I think the stats might change. But I'm probably wrong and people will correct me. There we go. Got the buff. He should probably be limping fairly soon. Did I take out the frill there? Nope, just stunned him again. He's exasperated. He is nibbling on me and I have to be careful because I'm next to the zone. And now he's beyond the zone. Get over here. Yeah, body slam your way to victory. That's that's right. Was that his frill that time? Nope. I believe to get the increased chance of getting a king's frill on quests where you kill these guys, you have to smack the, the frill until the point it breaks. Ah, there we go, he's limping. Alrighty. My weapon degrades in quality there, right? Or am I imagining things? 
So if this is him going straight to his nest to sleep, he will teleport again when he reaches this thing over here. Ah, <laughs> unless I stop him and accidentally kill him. But we'll see. I I'm okay with that if that's what happens. Oh, he's limping in another direction now. I'm never letting you escape! Never! Have I trapped him in kind of like a, if I knock him off course he has to keep on resetting? That's a bit weird. Also, although his frill isn't broken, it is ripped a little bit. So I think that's all you need to do to get the chance. And yeah, he teleported to his nest. So we'll start our run and we'll switch over to Shock Trap. And we'll capture one of the gits. Oh, that is not a zone. What am I doing? The zone is here between the two... Whatever the hell these used to be. Temple altar dealies. Excuse me, dodo type things. I'll just be passing through here. I got a golden egg off one of them. I don't think I ever mentioned that. I handed it into the, the elder goblin type guy who's in your camp. He gave me a rare item. Can't remember what it was, but he gave me a rare item. Alright. Sleeping like an innocent little thing. But that is not going to save you because we're just going to go like this. We're going to equip trank bombs. We're going to wake him up with a slash to his ass and get him to walk into this. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Stamp your feet. Charge. Charge this way, please. Charge this way. Charge this way, please. Yep. Body slam your way to victory. Right into this. This innocuous looking glowing thing on the floor. That's right. Ugh. Cha -cha, come here. I'm pressing my symbols on my gamepad to get them over here. Yeah, call for more backup. Ooh, big ones. Get over here! Oh, that's so annoying. Right, he heard his little ones getting in trouble. And one more. And done. Excellent day. Also means I can unleash my fury on its babies while it sleeps because I can't carve it. Get over here. Health recovery bonus. Is that a new one? Because it was health recovery speed their masks had before, right? Hmm. I did change Kyumba's mask, but I thought I made it identical to Chacha so that they, just so they both had health up large, unless I did them in a different order. And that gave him that. There we go. And I suppose we can carve these guys up. Because my Shakalakas are already stealing from them. Like so. So, it's still going to be a bit of a short video this time, unfortunately, but... You know, I hunted two of the same creature on camera, and now I do have access to simply farming up a few of them off camera now, which I may do as opposed to recording another one right now. I, mean, I think my next target is the poison version. Um, I'm not sure if I can tackle that as easily. It's going to take a lot more dodging and whatnot. I don't know. I'll decide. I'll decide. I'll decide once I have a look. Maybe I can make all the, the gear straight away now with whatever I get here from capturing one of them. It's very unlikely. Um, let's see what we got. Another hide, got another head. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Claw plus. We got three charms, two of which are rare. King scarabs are pretty rare. Didn't get a lot of actual materials though, and that's not so good. Well, let's see what we got. Defense plus two, normal shots plus five, bomb boost plus two, speed setup minus five, that's not good. Flame aura plus four I would say is okay. So I'll take that one and I'll take that one and sell the other one. For 100 zenny? Is it zenny? That was the currency in Breath of Fire. Which is also by Capcom, so that makes sense. Right, we'll see what kind of bits of the armor I can make and then we will wrap up here. Oh, why is Cha Cha's thought up a new mask, I guess? You're curious who is greater, Shakalaka, Chacha, or Kyumba? That not serious question, right? Kyumba, wait, greater and smarter, plus Kyumba brings sexy back. Wait, what? I'm not familiar with the things I'm reading. Oh, I was talking to Kyumba even though Chacha was in front of me, right? I get it now. Kyumba caused Chacha nothing but grief, grief when trip roading together. Kyumba have no Shakalaka sense of direction, always get lost, lost. Five Shaka steps for village, Uga Uga. Yeah, have you started arguing even though I've raised your chum chum level? Is that what we're we're doing here? I guess his level have gone up as gone up as well. See look! Their cha cha level is level three! Oh, but the icon's red. Does that mean they're having an argument? I don't know. This is all new to me. I don't even know why it matters. I've never seen them fight each other. So let's see what we can do here. Armor craft, forge armor, headpiece. 
Uh, we can indeed make the headpiece if I wanted. Which is fine. I've got. I may need to farm up more of that pelikite ore if it needs more of it per piece. I can make the chest piece. That's going to use up most of the supplies I've got off them, so I'm definitely going to need to kill more of them. And I can build the arms. Yep. I've got enough of that to do. Waist piece? Yep. Oh, I am still going to definitely have to kill more because I need more of the Jaggy Hide Plusies and uh, the Great Jaggy Hide Plusies and the Great Jaggy Claw Plusies and whatnot. But yeah, it's not actually going to take me that long to farm up what I require for finishing the whole set. So I believe what I'll do off camera now is kill about five more of them or capture about five more of them, get that done. And then I don't know what I'll do. I'll, I'll have the armor ready. I may also just wait until tonight's video is posted to get some feedback on the order in which I should tackle these high rank monsters in terms of difficulty and, and that kind of thing. Anyway, thank you for watching as always. Thank you for sticking with the series if you still are now that we're well into high rank. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta for now.